Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, stout messes in full swing. Uh, this isn't a stout. We're going to review a porter tonight, but I mean, come on. Porter stout. It's a dark beer. So, um, from Hill Farmstead, my favorite brewery in the entire world. Uh, Greensboro, Bend, Greensboro Bend, Vermont. Um, this is Twilight of the Idols. And this beer sounds amazing. This is a pretty can. Winter Porter, brewed with coffee and cinnamon and aged on vanilla beans. Um, this does not have, this is one of the cans that uh, doesn't have the ABV on it. Don't know the ABV. Um, it was funny when I took this out of the fridge, I'm like, oh, this is the first dark beer I've had from Hill Farmstead, but it's not. I had Everett, which was one of the best beers I've ever had. So, um, second dark beer I've had from Hill Farmstead. Uh, beer comes courtesy of my man, Jeff. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. Canned on, let's see here. Canned on November 17th. It says drink by January 17th. So we talked about it in the KBS Espresso review. <clears throat> Drink these adjunct beers fresh. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, today is December 11th, so less than a month in the can. Um, cinnamon beers are kind of, they're fun to review. Um, we've reviewed like Abraxas and there's a bunch of places, that, or a bunch of places, a bunch of breweries that do like Mexican kind of hot chocolate beers. Um, so cinnamon can be fun. It can be overwhelming. I'm guessing with Hill Farmstead, this is going to be amazing because Sean Hill knows what the fuck he's doing with beer and adjuncts and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to use our Hill Farmstead proper glassware because you guys know beer tastes better in proper glassware. This glass seems way too fancy for me. I'm just saying I'm kind of a dirt bag and this glass is so sick and I just, <laughs> I feel like it's too, it's way too fancy, but, um, <clears throat> there was a good, like kind of. When we poured that, it was kind of like that cola-ish sort of a color. It was not like super dark and viscous, but it's a porter. Uh, finger of like a off-white head. It's like, it's not quite to like that mocha, like dark brown, but it's it's off-white. Um, but it looks awesome. In that proper glassware. It's crazy. You can't see like this has the etched kind of Hill Farmstead logos all around it, but you can't see it with a dark beer in it. So let's go ahead and check our nose in this one. Let's see what it's got. Oh my gosh, it smells like an ice mocha. There's so much chocolate and coffee. Wow. So I don't smell cinnamon at all, but there is a good like vanilla sweetness in this. It's it's awesome because with Hill Farmstead hoppy beers, like they're soft. This aroma is soft is probably a bad descriptor. Like you guys would be like, oh, there's not much of what you're smelling, but what you're smelling is there, but it's not like overwhelming. It's not taking over anything it's not offensive this smells so good <laughs> it does it smells like an ice mocha that you like put i mean like think of going to it like a coffee shop and they add like the pumps of whatever the flavoring you put in it it's like an ice mocha with vanilla in it <laughs> it's crazy it smells ridiculously good i wish i knew what the abv on this is i don't know but this is like actual like coffee grounds. Like when you walk into a coffee shop and you smell coffee, when we drank the KBS espresso, whenever that was a couple days ago, last week, I have no idea when that was. Um, it was just like over the top, bitter, intense, like just off putting for me. And this one, it's just, it smells ridiculously good. That chocolate and vanilla. Fuck. It's, oh, let's go and taste it. Jeff, cheers. Thanks bro. It does say right on the thing, consume fresh. Keep below 40 degrees. We do do that. Oh my gosh. Fuck. That is delicious. I don't think the ABV on this is very high, I'm going to be honest. Um, just because this is so approachable, so drinkable. Um, I don't want to say light because when you think of light beer, you think of like, you know, light beers like lagers and pilsners and, but this is, <laughs> this is a crushable porter. My goodness gracious. Coffee, chocolate, vanilla, there's cinnamon there. This almost gives off like a churro kind of a thing. Um, I mean, 
<laughs> I have such good memories of growing up going to Disney. We lived in Northern California. We'd go to Disneyland, and it was an eight-hour drive from where I lived. And I just remembered as a kid, like, I was so excited to go to Disneyland because A, Disneyland was fucking amazing when I was seven and eight years old. And B, I would always get churros when I was there. And this kind of gives off that, like, sweet kind of um, confectionery, like, desserty sort of a thing. But the, it's like, it's so balanced. Like, the coffee is perfect. The chocolate is perfect. The vanilla is perfect. <laughs> Fuck. This is ridiculous. It's so good. Like I said, it's not crazy thick. It's not like a big chewy imperial stout. It's a porter. You're getting all the flavors that it says on the label in spades. And it just, it's like this ridiculously amazing harmony of coffee, chocolate, vanilla, and cinnamon. I, I, I can't even imagine what this would taste like if they barrel aged this beer. Holy smokes, it would be amazing. Just up the ABV a little bit. Fuck, this is... <clears throat> so, I mean, what are we, like, five or six? No. Today's December 11th. I don't think... I, have we... <laughs> have we uploaded a stout every single day this month? I don't think we have. Have we? No. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but this is the best dark beer I've had so far. It's This is ridiculous. It's so good, so... Um, no need to keep talking and like repeating ourselves. This is absolute fire. Jeff, you are fucking amazing for sharing this beer. I love, 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 love this beer. My goodness gracious. It's fire. I'm telling you. I've said it in the Hoppy Beer Reviews. Hill Farm said it's the best brewery in America. They just are. Sean Hill fucking nails every single style. Um, I actually have a barrel-aged style that I... Um, that Jeff sent that I'm going to drink from them. And I'm just, I'm so excited to drink it. <laughs> I've never had a stout from Hill Farmstead, but their farmhouse beers, their hoppy beers, their pale ales, porters, brown ales, like they're just, it's ridiculous. So, uh, that's Twilight of the Idols. If you guys have had it, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I hope a lot of people have had this. I know. I mean, that's kind of stupid saying that because Hill Farm says in the middle of nowhere, Vermont, but I just, <clears throat> I want all of you guys who like dark beers to experience this beer. It's fan-fucking-tastic. So, uh, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar, in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.